Assalam Alaikum Dental histology is a very interesting subject but initially many students face a lot of problem understanding it I can say this as I've been through this phase but don't worry I'll try to make it easy for you and I hope you like my effort so please don't forget to subscribe comment and share my video and I also have a Facebook page so please go and check it out and like the page and share it and I think I've done speaking all the formal statements so let's begin with the video so today we are going to study about the development of tooth and we will study this in two phases first one is the formation of dental lamina and then we have stages of tooth development and we have three stages the first one is the bud stage bud stage then we have the cap stage cap stage and then we have the bell stage and actually the bell stage has two stages the early bell stage and the late bell stage late bell stage so in this video we will be studying the formation of dental lamina and in the upcoming videos we will cover all these things all right so first of all i'll ask you a very silly question where are your teeth present obviously in your mouth okay so imagine yourself in your mother's womb so let's imagine this is you developing in your mother's womb or let's say it is me and i am developing in my mother's womb okay so when i develop i will have this box <laughs> i mean i will have a phase of development so let's suppose this box represents the phase of development development and when i develop I will eventually form a cute baby like this. Okay, so let's say this is my developing phase. Okay, and this is my developing mouth. So this developing mouth it is called as the primitive oral cavity. So this is the primitive, primitive, primitive because it is still developing. All right, primitive oral cavity, oral. cavity or it is called as stomodium stomodium okay and this is lined by stratified squamous epithelium so let's say this is our stratified squamous epithelium and this is called as the oral ectoderm so this epithelium it is called as the oral oral ectoderm and this oral ectoderm it contacts with the endoderm so let's say this is our endoderm endoderm okay so this oral ectoderm contacts with the endoderm with a membrane let's say this is our membrane in between and that membrane is called as the buccopharyngeal membrane buccopharyngeal pharyngeal membrane So at twenty seventh day of pregnancy, twenty seventh day of pregnancy, this buccopharyngeal membrane it will rupture. So let's say it ruptured. So this is how it ruptures, and now our oral ectoderm it is in contact with the endoderm of the foregut. Now let's move on into a cleared version of this. So let's say. this is our ectoderm so this is our ectoderm and beneath the ectoderm we have connective tissue so this is connective tissue suppose and most of these connective tissue they are ectomesenchyme in origin and what they do they instruct the ectoderm to start tooth development so they will kind of signal this ectoderm that you should start the tooth development one thing i would like to tell is that when the tooth develops this development occurs in the anterior portion of the maxilla i would say the future maxilla and the future mandible because they are still not developed so the tooth development first occurs in the anterior portion of the future maxilla and the mandible now you remember the ectoderm it ruptured at 27th day of pregnancy so it ruptured at 27th day right so 
टू टू थ्री वीक्स आफ्टर द रपच्चर ऑफ दिस मेम्ब्रेन सो आवर मेम्ब्रेन वो समवेयर ह्यूर एंड इट रपच्चर सो वट विल हैपन सर्टेन एरियाज ऑफ द बेसिल सेल सो दिस सेल दिस थिंग राइट ह्यूर दिस इज द बेसिल सेल बेसिल सेल सो सर्टेन एरियाज ऑफ दिस बेसिल सेल इट प्रोलीफ्रेट्स मोर रैपिडली कंपेयर टू द अदर एरियाज सो लेट्स से दे आर प्रोलीफ्रेटिंग so they have started proliferating now all right and they form something which we call as the primary epithelial band primary epithelial epithelial band now eventually what will happen this band will divide into two parts one will be the lingual and other will be the buccal so let's suppose we have this inner portion right here and we have the outer portion right here so the primary epithelial band will divide into inner lingual process so this is the lingual process lingual process and the outer buccal process buccal process so this lingual process it is called as the dental lamina dental lamina and the outer buccal process the outer buccal process it is called as the vestibular vestibular lamina and i'll tell you here only that as the name says this forms the vestibule of your mouth so what is the vestibule of your mouth when you place your tongue between your cheeks and your teeth you find the space there right so that is the vestibule so this vestibular lamina forms the vestibule and this dental lamina which is this portion right here it will form the ectodermal portion of deciduous teeth okay so it will form the ectodermal ectodermal portion of deciduous teeth and the permanent successors will arise from the lingual extension so the permanent successors will arise from the lingual i hate the way i write my l lingual extension and permanent molars will arise from its distal extension so the permanent molars will arise from the distal extension distal extension now i'll just have to cram it all right now let's talk about the fate of dental lamina fate of dental lamina so the total activity of dental lamina it extends for a period of 5 years and uh, you can find the dental lamina still active in the third molar region after it has disintegrated elsewhere so you can still find uh, dental lamina dl still active in the third molar region and also uh, there are remnants of dental lamina means the left overs of dental lamina which persist as epithelial pearls so they persist as epithelial pearls or islands pearls or islands within the jaw and gingiva and these are called as the rest of ceres rest of ceres so in the next video we'll be covering the bud stage and the subsequent processes hope you like the video please give a thumbs up share the video please and i really need you to support my efforts and help us reach as many people as possible thanks for watching allah hafiz